So first, let's try to understand what is allegation. Allegation is defined as, you know, joining things, a groups to make a new group or joining couple of things to make a new thing. So let's actually discuss about the questions that would be covered under this topic to give you an understanding of what we are going to talk and discuss in this video. So this is the best example you can come up with. So we have two types of sugars which cost 10 rupees per kg and there's another variety which costs 18 rupees per kg and we are mixing these two quantities uh, two sugars which are of a different quantities like 3 kg and 5 kg so now i'll get a 8 kg mixer right a 3 kg and 5 kg mixed and what would be the mixer price the new price of the mixture so that's like one way of looking at so allegation as i said is joining things so we have mixed two things and now we are asking you what is the resultant price of the new mixture per kg wise right so you'll get to see questions asked on like this so i can talk about i have a group of boys and group of girls in a class who have scored so and so average scores are so and so what is the average of the entire class so basically allegations are extension to the averages we call them weighted averages is the basic concept we use to solve these questions so let's look at the formula for that so the actual formula is this average of let's say I am talking about there are two groups boys and girls right the average scores of boys is 30 and girls is 20 in an exam and there are average scores and the number of boys and girls is 10 and 10 or okay rather 5 if I ask you what is the average score of the entire class let me come down to slightly easier calculation to show this. Let's say there are boys and girls in a class. There are two boys, there's one girl and 30 and 20. So average score is 30. I can assume that boy 1 scored 30, boy 2 scored 30. So 30 plus 30 by 2 is 30. So average of boys is 30. That's satisfied. And girl 1 scored 20. What is the average of entire class? 30 plus 30 plus 20 by 3. There are 3 students on the whole. So that would come out to be 80 by 3, which I can use this formula to calculate that. There are two boys and the average score of the boys is 30 and there is one girl and average score is 20 by two boys plus one girl. That will be 60 plus 20, 80 by 3. Now this formula, number of people of that group into whatever the element we are talking, the attribute we are talking about. Here I am talking about the scores. If you look at the earlier example here, we are talking about the price. It de varies depending on the question. So based on this, what should I do to find out the average score of the entire class? In this case, so 30, 10 boys, average score is 30 plus there are 5 girls with average score of 20 and there are 10 plus 5 girls. So that's the average of the class. 300 plus 100, 400 by 15. So that's the answer for this. You see, this looks like averages only, right? I should use the same technique to solve this question also. Let's look at this. 3 kgs of sugar and each kg is, each sugar kg is 10 rupees, right? That's the first type. So that means if I am adding 3 kgs, what is the cost I'm adding? 30 rupees, 3 into 10. And 5 kg, each kg is 18 rupees. So totally I am getting 30, I am spending 30 plus 90, 120 rupees to mix this and what is the quantity of mixture I am getting? 3 plus 5, 8 kgs. So basically 120 rupees for 8 kgs, so that will translate to be 15 rupees per kg. Which is what this formula is also, right? 3 kgs, 3 kgs into 10 rupees plus 5 kgs into 16 rupees and 3 plus 5 kg which is something similar to what I've written here. So this formula can be extended to talk about the specific case we have discussed the quantity of rice, sugar and the price. So quantity 1 into price 1 plus quantity into price. So if I have more quantities or different varieties added I can keep continue I can continue doing this. Right? This formula is not only applicable for two groups if I have another group also 
with average score and number of people i can use this formula to do it and we'll show with some other examples but just keep that in mind that it's not just something that i can use only for two quantities i can use for more than that so let's get started solving some problems pass the video try it on your own and then continue watching to see the explanation we are giving and so that you can understand these things better hope you have passed and tried so the first question is in a college there are 50 100 150 students in the first second and third year respectively the average weight of the students in these three years is 40 60 and 80 find the overall weight of the college this question is the example to show that the formula for the weighted average is not only valid for two groups it can be more than that so first year second year third year so the number of students as 50 100 150 and the attributes they have talked about is weight so that's 40 kgs 60 kgs and 80 kgs so they are asking us to answer what is the overall average right as we said overall average would be 50 into 40 plus 100 into 60 plus 150 into 80 divided by the numbers 50 plus 100 plus 150 so that is 2000 plus 6000 plus 12000 by 300 so that is going to be 20000 by 300 so approximately it will be 66.66 and that's the overall average of the class and that's how we'll solve it we just wanted to show that it's not necessary that we can only apply this for weighted average for two it can be more than two as well and this is a good example to understand that <laughs>